Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another episode. And in this one, we are gonna fix the low speed fan resistor on my S3. So these technically should be all the tools that you mainly need, plus or minus a few things to actually do this mod. So we're gonna use the steel as the main mounting piece for everything. These are the two main resistors that are gonna replace the resistors in the fan that have probably failed. Um, and then this is just some thick wire. Now this is rated to 15 amps. I'm not sure what the figure is, but I did read on the forums that it was like 7.5. So this is rated to 15 amps and we're gonna use that to connect our wires to the rad. And this should hopefully fix the low speed fan issue. So obviously when you've got this plate to this stage and you've drilled all of the holes in the actual plate, so I center punch them first, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this square. Now you can do this by hand, perfectly normal, but I have a bandsaw, so let's cut. So looking at this heat shield template that I've made, it's actually got heat shields panned out for a specific type. But what I'll do is I'll link the forum down below and I'll link the heat sink down below in the description to show you where you can get it on the internet. Cause I took quite a while to actually find it again cause it's such an old pulse. But I've drawn these holes cause I wanna mount this underneath the leg of the driver side, it's actually gonna be like that. And these holes supposedly are to the dimensions of the chassis. So I'm gonna essentially take my resistors after I mod them up and I'm gonna fit them onto this aluminium. And then this aluminium is gonna work in my heat sink. And I've got some thermal compound as well to um, make the connection a lot better. And then this nice shiny aluminium is going to be a heat shield along with the holder for the resistors. But in my car, I have uh, intercooler pipe work in the way. So when I get it back in the car, realistically, I think I'm going to have to cut about this much out. So I want to place the resistors in this area and this area to basically keep them safe. But I want to check this in the car first. So I want to do a super quick update because my battery is about to die but my boost pipe actually runs into where this plate would go um, how it's mocked up so I'm actually going to cut it off here that means my resistors are going to line up like that and it's just going to give me a small amount of space I wanted the template more for the holes than I did for the actual side of, size of it I actually just needed it for the holes rather than the size of it so I'm going to run this through the bandsaw really quick, chop it out and as soon as it's out I will put some thermal compound on and then put these resistors straight on and then rivet them. So yeah, I think I'm just going to chop this out, take it straight to the bandsaw, put the thermal compound on the resistors and then just rivet them straight into place on the steel plate and then that should be ready to fit. Hi, I'm here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try and put these resistors on now. So what I wanna do first is this is isopropyl alcohol. So this is 99%. I'm gonna clean the surface of these, 
with this. After that, I'm gonna apply the thermal place compound that I've got. Hopefully I've got enough. And then once that's on, I'm gonna take me a nice small rivet like this, which I've already pre-drilled the holes for. I'm gonna put the rivet in. This is the nice plate that we've drilled the holes into already. I'm gonna pop in the rivet right there and then rivet this resistor onto there. But I mean, hopefully it works. All right, so we're back in a familiar location in the carport because I've finished the resistors as you probably just saw in the last scene. And let's get started on the S3. Now I'm gonna jack it up quickly and see if I can fit the resistors without taking the bumper off. Um, but that's gonna make really bad video. So I might just take the bumper off just so it looks better on video for you guys to see how I do it. But this is my resistor pack. Ooh. This is my resistor pack, ready to go. Holes are drilled, wiring sorted, and we just gotta fit it on the S3 now. So this is the chassis leg with the battery tray out. Uh, don't worry about the rust, let's just cover that up. But basically, there's these two little holes right here. Now, these two small holes, we're actually gonna put a small M5 bolt into. Well, I don't know if it's an M5 or M6, but I'm about to find out. Once I get these small bolts through these two holes, you'll, it will make sense underneath when I show you where the resistors go. So you'll be able to see where that actually mounts up to. So this is underneath the chassis leg and this is the turbo pipe that I was talking about. So this is a hard metal pipe that I made like two years ago. Ignore the welding on it. But do you see those two bolt studs that I've just drilled through from the top? My resistors are actually gonna plate up to that and bolt. Give me a sec and I'll show you. All right, so that's the plate mounted up. And now you can actually properly see it. That's how it's bolted up. It's literally just got two bolts on those studs that I put in from the top. And I've put two nuts on the end of it and that's job done. Now the wires trail down and now these wires, I'm gonna connect into that radiator fan switch, which is right there. speaking those wires are done and they run down and then they run up to the resistors 
So this should work, fingers crossed. Cool if that was gonna work, but check this out. We have both fans spinning at low speed. So I'll be honest, I am so happy. I was skeptical if that mod was even going to work, if I'll be completely honest with you, but so many people have rated it. Now, what I actually did was I did the wiring on the fan controller side. So what that means is if I ever want to swap the fans in the future, I can do it and my mod will stay in place rather than doing it on the fan side. If you do it on the fan side electronically, it will still work, but that is up to your own risk because you will have to chop those wires in the future. But guys, thank you very much for watching another episode of Prit Powers Projects. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe if you like the content and we will have more. Thanks for watching.